in a the club, every girl I say to me. Step in a the club, every girl I say to me. Regardless, regardless, regardless. Step in a the club, every girl I say to me. Step in a the club, every girl I say to me. Got the girl them shake, them body body move, them body body move, them body body move. Right, so all that you saw today was Ferrari World in Abu Dhabi. Now, even though the biggest ride, the fastest roller coaster in the world, was shut, um, it was still quite good because there were still loads of other rides and there was still plenty to occupy us. And we stayed there from pretty much midday till like six when it closed. It was good, yeah. And also, you may have saw the driving simulator that um, I won. There was five or six people, but um, there's a race track in Abu Dhabi, and that's what we were racing. And I think it's in Forza. It's in Forza Five because I've played it in Forza Five. And um, when you like click brake, like it lunge forward as though like you would in a car if you were heavy braking, and like when you steered, your box steered, so it was like um, you were actually racing so I came first on that um, in the video you saw that was pretty cool I'd like to say coming to the UAE during Ramadan is actually that bad because we were quite scared of it because on Google it said you had to cover up for your like kneecaps and like women have to cover up their shoulders and it said that everywhere would be um, shut and you had to um, eat behind the black curtain and yes all that is true but it's not as obtrusive as you think. Basically, in terms of recovering your people have been walking around in shorts. Also, in our hotel, none of these rules apply, by the way. It's just when you venture out. There were loads of people wearing shorts, and because it was quite a touristy place, nobody really cared. Nobody really told them off. Also, yes, you do have to eat behind a curtain, 
but there are bollards up like at the front of most restaurants just so like the Muslims can't see you eating and some restaurants have a black curtain at the front but they're still open it's still fine and to be fair I'd say about 75% of cafes are open they just have a black curtain so it's not as scary and as bad as you think Obviously, one of the other things we were scared about was the heat. And yes, even though it is very hot, pretty much everywhere is indoors and air conditioned. So you don't actually find yourself going outside that much. And if you do go outside, it's fine if you're not doing strenuous exercise, okay? But they have pretty much everything indoors. So there was nothing to worry about and everything is all right. <laughs> Yeah. Can I stroke it?
that quad biking today was scary just due to the lack of health and safety basically he got the quad bike he was like click that to go and then off i went no safety briefing no helmet there was literally nothing to do with safety and also there wasn't like a track or anything so as i was going up the hill there could have easily been another quad bike coming the other way up the other side of the hill and there being a um collision um luckily there wasn't but it was very unsafe right so we have just been to the water park for a final time um, we've done every single ride at least once, which is quite impressive because there's like two big structures. There's, I think, six rides on one, and then there's one, two, three, there's four on another, and then there's another one that's not on a structure. So that's 11 rides. So I think there are 11 rides, but on when I when I this, on the second structure, there's four, but like some of them are a double, like two exactly the same. So if you count the doubles that makes it six and then six which is 12 and then another one which is 13 so we've done all the rides at least once which is very impressive um yeah so tonight's our last night and then we fly back tomorrow i hate long haul flights so much because they're just so boring it's just class as a long haul flight for some reason right okay it was six hours on the way here then on the way back it's um it was six and a half on the way here, and on the way back, it's seven hours 45. Like, I get going to and from airports, there can be um, a difference, but it's normally only like 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, it's uh, quite a lot longer. So I think I think that, I think that seven hours and 45 does class as a long haul flight, unfortunately. So here's the view off our balcony, which we're going to miss seeing. Um, yeah. We have a car light show from our route. All those cars lights are flashing in a pattern. That's weird, man. Look, all the lights are flashing in like a wave starting there and going like that. What's going on? Right, Andre Green is a professional footballer. He's 21 and he has represented Aston Villa at under 23, under 21 and like full level. He was loaned out to Portsmouth at the start of the season for the first half and he did very well. He was injured for most of it, but he scored a last minute winner, a great solo run against the championship champions Norwich City in the third round of the FA Cup. He also scored a last minute equaliser. So Aston Villa drew with Sheffield United who also went up 3-3. And then he came on in the 70th second minute to secure Aston Villa promotion to the Premier League. He is now a Premier League player. So we have made it back to the UK. Um, our flight was a bit delayed and I don't like flying because it's like you're caged up in like a small little aircraft for ages. So yeah, we've made it though. Um, the, I like Emirates. The only criticism I have was that they collected the headphones about half an hour before we landed. And I set a film knowing that like I'd be able to watch it all if they didn't take headphones until the time when it said we'd get there. So like the film was two and a half hours and it said two and a half hours left of the flight. But because they took the headphones so early, I couldn't finish it. So that's a bit annoying, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you again soon. Yeah.